morning, my name is Glenn Smith. I'm from Multicore Office Services in Toronto. Um, I'm here to share one of our programs that we use with, to handle uh, staging of new and used systems furniture um, or, or other furniture. Um, projects all start with the sales process. And we all spend a lot of time and effort to market the, our services. Uh, the mo once the sale's done, though, most of you turn the project over to some type of uh, operations people. But we're going to go and do what's successful in getting us to fill the funnel. In a perfect world, the product arrives at the warehouse, um, it's shipped to site, crews offload, unpack, everything goes in, no deficiencies, report back to the client, everything's complete, and we're on to the next job. In the real world, 9 o'clock Saturday night rolls around and that phone call comes in. And anybody had that phone call? <laughs> um, the guys can't finish the job. Something's wrong, something's missing, there's shortages, whatever. Who does the client remember? The client remembers us for the last ones on site. Shortages can be your worst nightmare because at that point, um, everybody's losing money. We've got to make extra trips back to site. The client's upset and they'll keep calling. We've got to get the, the punch list items done because we all know the client pays the bill before it starts or before you're finished. Anyway, from, uh, what if we get the product from order? We've got to get it from A to B. What if we could take the project from the order entry, identify all the, all the shortages, and before the project starts, before it's ordered, we call it staging. It started by, by building a tool uh, for more efficient use of labor on site. We designed it to choreograph product and uh, way for installers to work faster. What it turned into was an order accuracy checklist. Put yourself in, your, in their shoes. Guys go to site, they got five trailer loads, they got 18,000 individual pieces, they got to figure out where to put it on a great big vast open floor. Where do they do it and what, how does everything get put together? What we do is we start by collecting all the drawings, purchase orders, and electronic format. Excel and AutoCAD is the easiest way to get this done, but we've done it with a photocopier, um, a legal pad, and a roll of tape. We, <laughs> we start with the drawing. We identify all the areas of the drawing and break them down into bite-sized pieces. We create ourselves a list. We, use, we bring our lead hand in. Get him involved at this stage of the project. He knows the product. He knows the individual bits and pieces. Typically, the specifier knows it just on a drawing. Anyway, we create a spreadsheet where basically we take all the product down on one side, we go across the top with all the individual areas, and he breaks everything down. At the end of the job, it's just a set easy uh, thing. You subtract one from the other. If you have anything that's not zero, you've got a problem. Your installer is now knows the job, your lead hand. He knows the product, he knows the floor, he's invested in, this, in the building, in the project. He will take ownership of it. You can now make informed choices before the project's manufactured and get the changes made right away. Um, you can then, once you've got it all put together, this becomes a tool you can use for many different things. You can create an elevator checklist, pull list for your warehouse. What we do is we then take the drawing, we create a room sheet. The room sheet has a small copy of the drawing and a check off. So as the guys are, are distributing product throughout the floor, they walk in, put it in the office, check it off, and they never walk in again until it's complete. But you know where product is. It also allows you to check the offload. On the very first day, um, the offload comes in, everybody knows where things are going, it gets staged, it gets put away right away. Um, it also becomes a uh, gets the, the crews more familiar with it. And as they become more familiar with the program, they're going to take pride in finding errors. They're going to find them the day of the offload, not three weeks from now when the project's finished. You're going to have the answers now, if there's any shortages. While we were doing this, we had a very small sale recently, $45,000, $42,000 with a GP of 18%. Took about five hours to put the thing together. The spec errors we found that the manufacturers had made um, added $2,200 profit to the job. Made the sales guy happy, made me happy, everybody happy, happy, happy. We found revenue on a job already sold. Um, time is money. Whether you're reducing labor costs, whether you're finding stuff, whether you're, 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 you're oh, I'm running way behind here. This is fast. <laughs> <laughs> on one large installation, we actually found a spec that with the, the client had mis misspec 400 overheads we saved the client $96,000 and probably someone another job. Bring your team in, invest your team. Staging involves everybody from the person, who, as soon as the job comes in, everybody gets, gets involved in it. We bring people in from the specs, from, the, from the, our coordinators, we get everybody involved. <laughs>
I'm from Canada, so go ahead. <laughs>